Hi guys, I just wanted to do a torpedo example for underwater torpedoes because they follow slightly different rules to the deck torpedoes. So, do the same as we did before, set everyone to follow the person in front, so they create a battle line. Okay, so we're going to be turning them off this time because the underwater ones don't rotate so you don't need to worry about them not being in position to fire. Now the one thing that happens quite regularly that people might not realize what's going on is uh, the torpedo itself might get destroyed and then you're wondering why it's not shooting and it's because it's destroyed. So it's easy to see your front and back torpedoes because they're just a little red line here when they get destroyed. But the side ones are very hard to see because it's quite often obscured by other things on the ship. So you can't tell if your torpedo launcher is destroyed or if the turret's destroyed or if it's just your main deck that's been destroyed. So uh, the front and back ones are really easy to spot, but the side ones are particularly difficult. Which is a shame because quite often it's, it's the difference between sinking a battleship and not sinking a battleship. If your left one's destroyed and you try and aim it with your left one, you're going to die before you get a chance to realise damn it was my left one that was destroyed, I should have gone to the other side and shot my right torpedo, so it's a bit of a pain, but it's just the way it is, Un unless they change the system so you can see which one's destroyed or which one's not reloaded in time, it's just something you're going to have to deal with. So with these underslung launchers, or underwater I should say, um, what you're going to want to do is get within 500 meters. So you've got it turned off. You don't want to turn it on until you're within 500 meters. They practically can't miss within 500 meters. You could wait until you're even closer, but obviously you get less time to react if you make a mistake if you're even closer um, so if the targets a lot smaller like a destroyer or a or a torpedo boat um, or a light cruiser then you might need to get a bit closer like 300 or 200 meters before you shoot but when it's a battleship you should be fine with uh, 500 meters so once you get within 500 meters you just turn it on and it'll do the work for you now what you're going to want to do if you see up here it tells you what the ship is there's a little arrow there if you click it it expands it tells you the ship's details so it'll tell you that the ship is going 18.3 knots which is, you think that it tells you there what speed it's going but that just tells you what the top speed is not what speed it's currently traveling at so if it gets damaged or whatever and it slows down that will tell you the speed that it's traveling at the moment so that's a really good um, thing to look at as you're approaching because basically when you get within 500 meters or if you've got a massive speed advantage, we haven't here. But if we had like a 10 or even 20 knot speed advantage, which can happen later on in the game, you're going to want to slow down before you reach the target. Because then you can turn in a tighter circle and uh, you can be more accurate, make better decisions if you're going slower. Now, because we're only one knot faster, we don't need to slow down until, well, we barely need to slow down actually. But 
if we were a lot faster, once you get within one kilometer, you're going to want to slow down and match their speed. And then as they get damaged, you want to slow down even further. So just keep slowing down. Keep checking this when they take damage. Slow down to whatever speed they're traveling at currently. And that way you'll stay relatively behind them. Because you don't want to get in front of them if you can. Especially if they have their own torpedo launchers on the side. You want to stay behind them. You don't want to be trading torpedo shots if you can help it. Okay, so we're just gradually closing the distance. You can close the distance quicker by taking a, a shorter route, but you get less ricochet chance when you're at a more broadside angle. So if you can stay more directly pointed at where their guns are shooting from, directly at them, then you're going to get a much higher ricochet, ricochet chance. So if you click on them, and then look at your ship, it says 89 degrees, which is very high. I don't know the exact percentage. I think it works based on what your front belt, your fore belt um, armor is. So the higher your armor, the, it, I think it increases the ricochet chance. So if you're chasing down a target, if that's what the whole point of your ship is, then you're going to want to load up your armor onto your front fore belt so you get loads of ricochets. That way you're not going to get damaged as you're approaching anywhere near as fast as if you didn't have much fore belt armor. Unfortunately, I've chose a time period where I've barely got a speed advantage so this is taking a hell of a lot longer than I was hoping, but we'll get there. Okay, so as soon as you get within 900 meters, you're going to be tempted to just turn them on and shoot immediately. Now you can do against a battleship, there's still a high chance that you're going to hit it, but really, you want to make sure that you hit it. You want to increase your chances as much as possible. So unless you're getting close to being destroyed or something, uh, you may as well just keep getting closer and closer and closer. If you've got a massive overspeed, you're going way faster than you should do, because um, you forgot to decelerate in time, then you are going to want to shoot early because you're not going to have time to react and get out of the way and stuff, but because we've got a uh, small speed advantage, we're fine to just get within 500 meters before you shoot. So with the underslung or underwater torpedoes what you want to do is try and fire all of them off but obviously you're going to need to keep changing angles and directions to to do that so what I suggest is you've got two different options you either approach get to 500 shoot the first one Come to the side, shoot your left one, carry on going around, which will then shoot the re the, re the rear one, and then as you come back around again, you'll then shoot the right hand one. So that's the easiest and probably the best option. But your other option is you can head towards, shoot your front one, if he's got uh, his own launchers you don't want to get broad shot broadside because you're going to just trade torpedoes which is obviously bad news so what you would do is slow down so you're slower or at least equal but preferably a little bit slower fire your front one and then go off to the side fire your right one then come off and do an S shape because you're going to be going slower than them, you're not going to risk um, overtaking them by accident. So you're going to remain behind them and still manage to fire off um, three torpedoes while still remaining behind them. 
and then you can then turn around if you want. You might be able to get your rear one off, but because obviously you'll be going slower than them, and you're behind them, there's a chance that you might run out of range by by that point. My god, this is taking forever. I'm sorry. So, for this example, I'm just going to show you the um, front, side, back, side manoeuvre, rather than the S manoeuvre. The S manoeuvre is a lot harder to pull off, but obviously if they've got their own launchers, you're going you're gonna to want to favour that option, so you don't lose your own ship. But for now, let's just see if we can uh, get in range. I'm in 1890 at the moment, which is why they can't shoot me. Because the accuracy is absolutely useless in uh, 1890. Look at that. 20 hits out of 1,400. 11 of them have ricocheted and 2 have been blocked. <laughs> They've only actually penetrated me nine times out of 1,417. That's embarrassing. Okay, so what you really want to happen is to destroy their rudder. But when they're going at an angle like they are now, if they're heading directly away from me, it's easy to destroy the rudder because you're travelling right behind them. Okay, it just so happens I get shot on the next time he shoots his big gun. Um, so if they're travelling at an angle like he is now, don't just try and hit the rudder because you, you might miss. It's better to just get some form of shot off but if you can take the rudder out it's going to reduce the chance of them avoiding your follow up torpedo shots because they're not going to be able to turn so it's you've got to weigh up whether you want to risk going for the rudder or not so if you hover your mouse cursor over them it tells you how far they are away which is 0.6 So, as soon as we get to 0.5, we can then think about turning on torpedoes. If you look at the front, it's not been destroyed, so that's good. So we're now 0.5, and now we're safe to turn them on, I reckon. Now, as soon as you've done that, you can then move your rudder to then get a, a nice broadside arc. like I managed to get their rudder anyway. Okay, so I managed to get two torpedoes off, but it's unlikely I'm going to be able to turn in time. But sadly, the second one missed by a fraction. So that wasn't perfect, I turned my rudder too soon. So it wasn't a perfect example of the manoeuvre I was trying to pull off. I'm not used to going only one knot faster. I usually go in a five knots faster or something. So I just timed it wrong. So I'll try again. Form the same manoeuvre again. So the front turrets uh, or torpedoes not been destroyed. We're six, five hundred meters away, so we can now turn it on, get ready to go broadside. And then start making the maneuver now. So now we've hit with the front, we've hit with the right. We're about to shoot the rear one. 
There we go, the rear one shot. And now, hopefully, we've turned enough to be able to shoot the, the left one. Which we have. So there we go, that's how you perform the maneuver. Front, right, rear, left, all in one motion. Alright, hope that was helpful, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.